but I just could not uh, not reflect uh, on the rituals that that were done and um, their importance and how they link to 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 what we're talking about today. So um, um, I'm just going to 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 just reflect quickly in the prayer, uh, the pretty woman prayer. Uh, three things stood out for me and, and it kind of picks on what I'm going to be sharing in my journey. Um, in the prayer, I picked up that um, the girls, um, they are being groomed not to be haters. Uh, the girls are being groomed not to be jealous. And the girls are groomed to be cheerleaders for each other. So that is what I'm, I'm taking out of after that prayer. And then uh, you shared that uh, before we started, you had bad news. And then you shared with us and said that uh, you've just bad, had bad news, but this session needs to happen. And I, I'm just, uh, I think it's Maya Angelo who said that uh, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. So your sharing reminded me of that. And uh, the war cry for me, it's a, it's a unifying credo that, uh, uh, that uh, was, was shared by, by one of the girls. And uh, in the recapping, uh, I think critical um, uh, 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 clarity was that um, all this, the work that we're doing with the, girl, with the girls, you're preparing them for office. Where and 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 and, and you've, you've stated a, a, an office could be anything that you're leading. So I think for me the the other thing that stood out for me, which links with my journey, is the issue of being authentic. With me, it's not grey; it's black or it's white. Um, you know where I stand uh, with you. And then uh, with regards to confidence sharing uh, with us, uh, I just want to affirm that uh, 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 mentoring alters your journey. If you, you happen to be mentored uh, and you open yourself for mentoring, it, 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 it alters your journey. And uh, 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 mature as I am, I still have uh, people that uh, mentor me, uh, that I use as sounding boards, that I use uh, as coaches even though I also coach other people. So I'm still being coached. And, um, and I think it, it helps you to interpret the world and it helps you to stay on course. Uh, so, so, so those are some of the issues that I've picked up from the, from the, from the, from the sharing. So I thought I will use this five minutes of mine to, to just reflect on, 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 the, on the rituals. Quickly coming to me, um, my journey. I'm just going to pick up some snippets uh, because I mean my journey is so long, but and and my story. But I think uh, for me it's very important to reflect that my story. Uh, uh, I've been a little girl. I've been a young girl like the girls that are here today, but I'm also a mature girl. And for me, uh, the I I grew up from Ekasi. My formative years was ACAS until I passed a primary. Then I have got that outlook of ACAS and then I went to the village where I spent my secondary education in the village. And then I did my high school in a boarding school. So I am made up of those different worlds and worldviews uh, as, as a girl. Uh, so those are my formative years. And um, uh, I think when we were uh, uh, talking uh, uh, the other day, you said that uh, let me share mostly the curveballs. So I'm just going to have the, some snippets of curveballs in my journey. And I thought that uh, uh, not so many people know about this curveball, but I thought it was for me very important to share it with the girls. I went to university when I was 17 years. I was doing first year. And, um, and, and when I was 18, I was doing my second year. And the first curveball I got um, when I was 18, I got pregnant um, as, as a young girl. 
And uh, my lesson from that was that um, I did not negotiate myself out of that situation. And I, I, I think that if I had uh, 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 said something, you know, um, um, uh, in, within that context, as, as uh, I'm not going to say I was raped because this person was my boyfriend, but I think as I understand to now, as I grow old, that it could have been rape because I said no, but then, and then, and then, and then the boyfriend said that uh, I'm not going to, well, it was during the day actually. And you never think that during the day, you, I thought that people sleep with boys at night. So at, during the day, I felt that um, I'm safe. Um, uh, but uh, unfortunately, I was not safe. And, uh, and then he said that, no, you're not going to, I'm not going to allow you to go home if you, 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 know, you don't have this. And I was like, yo, I, I'd rather do this. And then I go home because I can never not sleep at home, you know. So I'd rather do this. And then after this, I don't want to see this person in my life. So what is the lesson for me is that where I was, I could have screamed. I could have, uh, you know, do so many things, but I decided to be silent. And then my lesson for me was that I will never be silent again. You know, so that's what I took out of that uh, situation. And I've never been silent from that day onwards. So that's my lesson. So that's my curveball. And I had to go out of university for a year to have the baby and then go back to, to university. But I had uh, the support of my parents. Uh, so for me, I thought that was important to share. The, the, the next uh, 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 sharing in my journey is that um, it's very important to be visible. And I think the, for me, when uh, I had the, 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 the theme for today, running for office, I said, um, you run for office when you have raised your hand. So you have to raise your hand. And, um, and, and in the journey that I've been, I've raised my hand and raising my hand um, uh, made me to be visible. And uh, when you are visible, you get spotted. And then when you get spotted, you get presented with opportunities. So I'll, I'll just share, um, 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 you know, this thing of, of raising. I mean, putting an application for a job is raising your hand. There are so many people who don't put up applications uh, because they are afraid that they are not going to get the job or they are going to be rejected. If you fear rejection, then you're going to have a problem. So you've got to raise your hand and you get spotted. So um, 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 uh, I started to work and, um, and um, in the meetings uh, that were happening, um, I would speak up. I would say my thoughts, I would share my ideas. And when I started working as a young person, I was not, I was, I, my first job was not in HR. My first job I not, was not in industrial, I did not apply my industrial psychology in my first job. I just got a job. Remember I said I'm from Kasi village and everything else. So when you graduate, you, you want to work, to, to, to work. So you don't have much choice that, oh, I don't take this job, I'll take that job. So the first job that I did, I worked as a third secretary for foreign affairs. And, um, and then in meetings, I would um, share my ideas, uh, you know, suggest issues. And then the, the director general at the time, I was about 22 years old, the director general spotted me because I raised my hand, I shared ideas, and then the director general said, no, this, this, this young girl, uh, young lady must, must be placed in, in human resources. She's got very good ideas and we need to improve in that space. So that's how I then shifted to, to where I was trained to be before, even though I started to do work in another space. Haters. At Forte, I, I worked at Forte 
And even at 40, I raised my hand, I was visible. I took assignments and I, I, I was in, in the informal networks. And when I worked at, four, I worked at Forte, Forte was going through difficult times, uh, going down, you know, uh, there was so much turmoil at the time. And then Professor Derek Swartz was brought in as a vice chancellor to assist Forte to turn around. And I was not like a senior big person at the university. I was just doing my HR work, doing it so well. And uh, there was a committee that was set up to turn around the University of Forte and to come up with a turnaround recovery strategy. So being in HR, I was responsible for turnaround that relates to HR. But the way I was coordinating my HR work and presenting my work to these committees, in my absence, I was appointed to be the coordinator of the of the administration side of the university. As you know, the university is the academy, then there's the professional services, which is all the support services. So I was given that responsibility. I was not at that meeting, but I was spotted and I was, I was found to be a person who can do that. Even though I was not a, I mean, there were registrars that could have been chosen to coordinate, you know, the support services, but I was chosen being in HR to support you know, to coordinate. So I had to convene like the registrars, the, the big people, you know, at the university being a small person within, within HR. So that was visibility. That was, um, they perceived my skill, they perceived my determination, they perceived that I stay the course because I raised my hand. Um, I still have eight minutes. Coming to government, when I, I came to government um, um, uh, I, in, in many years ago, I think it was 2000, I was quite young at the time. And in government, uh, those who know government, yet yeah, things have changed now, but those who know government, you don't just become a chief director. You know, it's a chief director is a big thing in government, but these days you do get young chief directors. So at that time, I was the youngest chief director. I shifted from the University of Forte and I was spotted by somebody uh, as I was working at, you know, at the university. And one of the professors said, hey, we are very worried that the government with its transformation, they will spot you and they will take you in government. And, and, and at that time, because of the assignment and the exposure and the participation that I did during the merger, you know, uh, at that time, because I became part of the committees that were dealing with the merger, discussing with government, you know, the UNITRAS, the roles, the fortes. So I got spotted, but I didn't apply for this job in government. So a person who had spotted me during those conversations phoned me one day, said, hey, we need a chief director for the province. I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh, don't want to work in government. I'm fine here. But please, man, can you take it up? I took it up. So then I worked as a chief director. When I got there, I was one of the youngest, I could say at the time. Uh, chief directors. So what was what were my curveballs? The first curveball is that one, I was young. The second curveball is that I was a woman. And the third curveball, they thought that I don't know the public sector. I'm coming from the university. So what is it that I'm going to teach them? And uh, you can never uh, underestimate the importance of preparedness. Be prepared. Because by the time I then uh, uh, got to took up the position, I had prepared myself. I read a lot about the transformation of government, you know, all the reports and everything else. And when I, I went in there, it was as if I've been working in government. That's how I got the job. So be prepared. So the, the, the other thing is that uh, you would, uh, uh, people in corridors, they would not, in almost in government, there's a pecking order, a very serious pecking order. I mean, if you are there, you, people call you with your big name. And uh, me, I would hear people saying, I'm the chief director, but they don't say that about the other chief directors who are men. But when they talk about me, I'm the uh, is that child there? You know, I'm going to that child's office, you know? Uh, so those were uh, some of the curveballs that I, I, I had to deal with. And I had to be firm. I had to know my story. I had to be respectful because uh, I was working with, with people who are, with, who are older, but um, I was firm. 
I had to call them into order. I had to, you know, discipline them if they needed to be disciplined. I had to counsel them if they need to be counseled as a young person. And for me, what was also important was that I multiplied myself. How did I multiply myself? I delegated. I delegated and I empowered my team. I made my team to be accountable. I set priorities. I shared my priorities. I enrolled the team and then the team will run with the idea and myself, I will just, um, uh, you know, support the team. And, and one of the things that uh, work for me and still work for me is to be reflective. It's very easy to be, uh, you know, bogged down by work, uh, by challenges. Uh, you've got deliverables, you've got a team that has got to, to present, you've got to go to the cabinet, you've got cabinet reports, you've got to go to the communities. It's very easy to be swamped in that. So I created um, a space for me that at the end of the day, I reflect. I have a reflective moment. I speak true to my recorder. I reflect about the day today. This day, this is how it has gone. This is what I would have done. I should have done better. This is what I need to do tomorrow. You know, so I'll reflect before I sleep and I'll reflect uh, uh, in the morning. That, that, that helped me. Um, so so, so, so in, in, in the journey, uh, as you go up, the haters will always be there. Detractors will always be there. Um, the detractors will always be there. Uh, uh, you know, uh, jealousy will always be there. We will, you will lose. Uh, you will lose friends. Uh, you will gain new friends. You will gain fake friends. So you've got to have discernment and have time to, to be heads down, but create time to be heads up so that you can be able to reflect and see things for, for what they are. One thing that uh, I also have, I've got a disability. And um, I, I remember as a, as, as, as a young girl, um, uh, the, the, the haters um, would use this disability of mine to talk me down. You know, most a hater, when you're doing nice things, you're moving, they look for something, you know, that you will, a flaw. And then they will call me with my disability. And uh, very early on, I was aware that I've got this disability and I affirm myself, that's very important. Self-affirmation. Self-affirmation, I, I stand there, I prepare, I tell myself that I'm good, I tell myself that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I tell myself that I, I, you know, but I also understand that I've got limitations. That's why I ask questions. That's why I've got, um, uh, uh, you know, mentors and, and sounding boards. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, uh, even, even, even now uh, um, in my role, uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very curious. So uh, uh, basically, with the minute that is um, um, left, uh, is that um, even the, the roles that I've played, uh, um, I will take it as running for office. Uh, there they, they, they should be pressing issues. There should be a cause. And, and I turn those pressing issues and those causes into mandate and manifestos and, and, and drive them. And uh, when I, I, I exited government, I was the head of department for human settlements. I was the first head of department for human settlements because housing used to be together with local government. And then, and then a decision was taken uh, through a provincial Indaba to split housing, uh, to stand alone as a department. The premier at the time had spotted me that I am a trailblazer. I am a go-getter. I'm not afraid to take chances. I'm, I'm brave. I go to situations uh, to uncharted waters, you know. So courage and bravery and knowing that uh, to, be, to be fearful is restraining. So for me to go to being a, a, a deputy director general and be asked to go and assist in the splitting of housing and, and, and local government was quite a, a, a complex task 
with all the politics that are with it, but I managed to do it because uh, I was trusted that I will do it. I was trusted that I would prepare for it. And that is why you find out that one of my degrees is in public policy. Because when I joined government, I realized that I needed to understand how does government work and how do people think in government. And that, and those masters, they helped me a lot to understand the complexity of government and to be able to deal with the politics that are within uh, the government space. My 20 minutes is off. My watch, my, my phone is telling me that. Thank you so much. Boy, Busa, you're on mute. Oh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, yeah. Okay, so I will start. This is how, you know, we clap, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Sis Nandi, for sharing with us. And uh, it's like you have been with us from session one. And mm. I don't want to spoil it, but I hope the mentees have picked up because as you were talking, I'm thinking, oh, we did this in this session. We did this mm. in this uh, session. And, and hopefully you can see in the chat box, you know, that mm. people can relate to what you said. And uh, our mentees really appreciated you sharing your personal uh, uh, story with them. I saw somebody saying that uh, they can relate to what you, you have said. And it is true, you, 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 what you have said, if you are going to say, to raise your hand and say, I want to be a leader, you need to be courageous. And that's why we have session two, where our girls, we are saying, this is, these are the, the, the principles, this is what you need to do. And they also share with us. And mm -hmm. self-affirmation. And I think also, because we also have a WhatsApp group, that we uh, communicate with and one and with the mentors also. We had the imposter syndrome that, uh, you know, we've been talking about where people doubt themselves. And I think you saying you need to reflect, you need to self affirm because there are haters out there and they will bring you down if mm. you are not strong. So thank you for, for saying that. And also indicating, we also talked about growing your village. So when you said mm -hmm. you are going to gain friends, and those are friends that will add value, and you indicated that you are going to lose friends, which means those are not the ones that you can walk the journey with. And that's something mm -hmm. that we have already touched on uh, in, in, in our, our session when we were doing courageous uh, uh, leadership. It's one of the principles, like you saw, we have a video that they look at and then we come and discuss. So everything that you have said here, we, you, 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 you are saying to say we are on the right track. And mm. this is how it's done. It's your journey, you have walked it. So we are not telling lies, we are authentic. And when we say it happened this way, and we are saying sometimes, uh, it might not happen that way, but this is how it happened for me. So what is it that you learn from my mm. journey when you are going into the And I like the fact that you are saying, raise your hand. And one of the reasons why G4G was formed was for, for that issue to say, sometimes as women, we are afraid to raise the hand. You know, the hand is somewhere mm. there and somebody mm. else must put mm. it up for you mm. to, 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 to say, I, I, I will. And I think uh, it's true that your work talks for you. So as you were saying, you know, they spotted me, they said, it was not nepotism, it was not that you paid a bribe to somebody else, but everything that you said there, you, because we will also take, and Rita always emphasizes, take notes, take notes, so that you all reflect and remember. And you said, I raised my hand through my work, and that's what I am taking from what you said to say, your work will talk for you. People will see what you are doing, 
appreciate it and give you an opportunity. And thank mm -hmm. you for that. And I think it links well with what uh, uh, Confidence has said to say after mm -hmm. getting the information, she just did, she just didn't sit and do nothing. Mm -hmm. She acted mm -hmm. on it. She raised her hand, and she's always asking. She will send us emails. She asks, uh, "Can you help with this? Can I help with that?" Mm -hmm. And for for her, it's the gathering years because we're also talking about the gathering years. And I think I picked it up as you were talking to say, you know, the the work that you did, you were gathering information, you were gathering knowledge, and you went back to school to learn about uh, 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 how government works, so that it enables you to do your work. And I think that's what Rita also said. She was she's a lawyer by profession, but she's not practicing law. She is mm -hmm. in, uh, what is it, health, uh, public health, and she's doing mm -hmm. masters so that she can understand public health. Mm -hmm. So we are on the right track, and thank you very much. So I'll just open up for questions and answers to Usis Nandi and to Confidence from our mentor. Valerie, I forgot to ask, how am I doing on time? I forgot I'm so to sorry, ask I that. haven't been watching time, but you're quite far over. <laughs> Okay. All right. No, no, so but it's fine. This is this is questions. really important. We've we've got at least ten minutes for questions, at least. So please okay. go. All right. Okay. So can we have, please, ladies? This is your opportunity. We brought Sis Nandi for you. She shared her story. Confidence has shared her story. What are the nagging things? What is keeping you back? Because we don't know. Only want you to, you know, ask nice things. We are just saying you want to do it, but this holds me back. Maybe they might provide uh, an answer for you. So please uh, help us, uh, the, the mentors, to please help me to identify those that have raised uh, their hands and also to check the, the, chat, uh, the chat box. Is there anyone? Um, I'm here. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. yes. I, um hello everyone i wanted to ask because uh, um the guest speaker said that we should make ourselves visible right and we should be prepared which is like mm -hmm. something that i highlighted and those are the, the 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 problems that i'm having to be prepared for things it's like i might have a set out timetable but it always fails and I don't know what to do or what else to do to change that. And how do you, do I make myself visible in a situation that I'm not necessarily prepared for? Okay. Do, do I, um, do I uh, yeah. take a few or do I uh, respond, uh, share what I think, uh, because it's not, there is not, not a right or a wrong, it's just sharing, you know, what could work. Yeah, uh, I think you can share. I don't see any other hand, unless there's another hand, then we can take the second question, then you can answer both of them. But is there any other person who wants to ask? Can you guys hear me? me? Yeah, yes. Kura um, has uh, raised her hand, okay? And this can um, sign Okay, I also have a question because I have a problem of confidence, I will say. I may have um, ideas and it's all set out well in my mind. But when it's time to stand up and how uh, Sis Nandi said about you have to speak out, to raise your hand and share your ideas, I tend to either lose that idea or just mix everything up. It's like I'm afraid I'm covering myself in the shell as much as I can be talkative around my friends or whatsoever but when it's time to actually speak my mind for real I tend to hide myself like I just I'm not able to face the world for what it is sometimes most of the times yeah okay uh, you can answer this too and then from there we'll go to Kensani and Loloetu um, the confidence comes with practice. Uh, for me, I was fortunate enough that um, 
when I was raised, my father raised me, I mean, in a non-conventional way. My father, uh, 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 you know, uh, we, we raised me uh, like a boy. You know, most our parents, if you are a girl, you must wear a pink dress. My father did not make me to wear a pink dress, you know. So, so that, that, that also, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, gave me the confidence and, and being trusted, you know, uh, to stand in and do what people thought were men's uh, uh, or a boy's responsibilities. Um, but uh, coming to, 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 uh, uh, to um, the girl that have just spoken, I, I, I thought I was going to take the name. Your ideas, put them down. Don't leave them here, upstairs. Take, have a journal, write your ideas, write what you want to do, have a vision board, and then take small steps, you know, uh, with regards to, to, to the vision, uh, uh, to, the, to the ideas that you have, write them down. And then uh, uh, continue to be part of this conversation of the girl for girl and uh, work with your mentor to deal with confidence building. And your confidence will be built as you take small tasks. You may think the tasks are small, but the, the, the more you do one task and you present it and you do another task, your confidence uh, gets built. And, and also in the area that is the area of your interest, it's always important to, uh, um, uh, I cannot uh, overemphasize to, to read about it, to ask questions, you know, about what you are wanting to do, the ideas that you have in mind. Sit and reflect who, who is demonstrating or who is working in this space that I'm interested to, to, uh, to venture in. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then, and then, uh, you know, go out of the cocoon and, um, and, and get that support. So I would say use the, the, the opportunity that is presented by Girls for Girls because I, I see these opportunities as training platforms, as safe space to practice uh, 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 because you are not going to be, you know, uh, you know ostracized in, in, in the space. I'm not sure if I've um, shared what I think I could, you could do uh, with, with regards to your your, your, your challenge at the moment. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, is it Mikenzo or Kensani? Kensani. Kensani. Okay, Kensani. Oh, it was Kensani. Yes, Kensani then. Okay. 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 Um, can you guys hear me? Um, yes. Okay, the question that I have for Umam Nandifa is what have you done to not always feel like a victim. I, I'm sure or I think that in most of the spaces that you have been, you have been subject to some sort of victimization, maybe because of your gender, you being a woman, maybe some sort of sexual harassment things have happened or somebody has looked at you in the wrong way, said the wrong things. What have you done to not always um, feel like a victim and not push yourself down, but remember you know the reason why you are there mm. I, I i cannot overemphasize um the question of uh, what i call mental resilience uh, in, in my own uh, uh, life um i i i i always say that one I am not going to, to make that person's problem to be my problem. That, that's the mental, that's a mental frame I have, yeah, that I've trained myself. That uh, now by making, by uh, making a person's problem to be my problem, I'm not talking about a person who's got a real problem. I'm talking about a person who's got a problem with me. It's his problem or her problem to have a problem with me. It's not my problem. The second thing is that, uh, I, 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 in my mind, I tell myself that if you have done something to me that is bad, that is, uh, you know, and uh, uh, as you have uh, uh, shared the example, I tell myself that if what you have done to me 
or what you are trying to do to me that is putting me down does put me down. It means you have succeeded. Now, I've always had an attitude that says, whatever is thrown at me, I will not make it define me. So if, um, like, for an example, uh, for an example, myself, I was married. And I got divorced, like, at 32, I got divorced. And people, when I tell them my story, they don't understand why. Why, why did you use, I mean, these things that you are saying uh, 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 are things that you could have, I could have put up with. I said, no, I'm not going to put up with them. And I'm not going to take them to my next relationship. You know, and people will ask you, are you, do you think you can also get married again? I said, yes, I will get married again if I get somebody that I think uh, values me. I will get married again because that one, that did those things. I've dealt with them. I may have dealt in things as well, but I've dealt with them. I've uh, picked them from the carousel, my baggage, deal with it, and then move on. So that my life is not dictated by what happened the previous day. So there's a song that I, 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 I like that I, I use. Um, I, I've forgotten the, it's an American singer. It's the song that says, um, today, is, is yesterday is gone today is the day that you have tomorrow may never come this uh, this is this one day i have jesus you know so i i live by that so as a person you you have your 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 uh, you know that that pretty woman prayer kind of a thing have those things you know a uh, a uh, 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 to 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 deal with 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 life have those pretty woman prayer things, read books, like I read a lot of books, um, spiritual books, uh, because that uh, 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 has got to do with also being grounded and being confident with who you are and what you know and don't know. So uh, I would suggest that read books like uh, Battlefield of the Mind, because a lot of young people, I was, I was young as well, we do a lot of thinking and we, we, we sit in a negative thinking space, thinking negative things over and over and over and over again, uh, over. And we think them to the extent that they become like real, whereas they are not real, they are not there. So, so that's, that's, that's what I would, I, would, I, would, I would advise you to do. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we will take Loloiti and Golo will be the last one. Okay. Um... My question is, like, I'm, I'm hearing that you've done a lot of pioneer work and you've started a lot of things. So Please. with regards to that, like, how do you know when, it's, when, when something is ready to be, you know, given out to the public? Because I feel like uh, when, you, when something has never been done before, there's no real... Um, mind map or steps to take so mm -hmm. how do you know would say, okay this is ready for the consumption of someone else or it's at a level where i feel i can release it to other people thank you i would be lying to you to say uh, how do i know uh, what i do know is that i'm an experimental person i'm a person who believes that uh, it's not gonna be perfect let me just do it and i'll fix it as i go along you know, so I, I never wait, uh, wait for a perfect product, if I may say so. You know, um, and, and one other thing that I do, I do a lot of, I would call it consultation, um, a lot of, um, but also you must choose the person that you share your vision and your dream with, you know, even at work. You know, um, you know when, when I was working at Forte, for an example, um, it was for the first time at that time, young as I was, when I opened, very, because I'm very much passionate about young people, young, young people, whether you're a girl or a boy, and, and people that are marginalized, for, for a lack of a better word. I started a internship program for students that were at Border Tech at the time. And I can tell you, I, it, it, it was not a perfect thing. I just sat down and I thought that um, a, 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 there are students that are studying at Bora Tech, 
they don't have a, 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 a you know they are not taken by employers to do their practice that they need to for them to qualify and conclude their thing and uh, I just picked up the phone and I found a, a, a board attack, a, a person that I didn't know. I look at the di directory, I found the head of department. And then I said, I'm willing to um, uh, men, um, no, take in students from them. Uh, there was no blueprint. I, was, I just became experimental and I improved it as, as I went along, you know. So sometimes you just have to be experimental. And, and, and understand that uh, you, you are the slogan of Nike, just do it. Because sometimes you can sit in and have paralysis of analysis and you never deliver anything. Thank you. Uh, Ngolo, you're the last one. Okay, um, my question to you is, what do you believe your purpose in life is and what keeps you going? Um, my purpose in life is to deal with issues that are pressing. And for me, the issues that are pressing, I'm, I'm biased. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm biased and I'm not, I don't think I'm sorry about that. I'm not sorry about being biased. That there are pressing issues. Uh, we are having this um, uh, workshop webinar, you know, Girl Talk, uh, at, the, at the heart of pandemics gender-based violence and femicide, in particular against, you know, women and girls and elderly people. And uh, the coronavirus, you know, made it sharp for us that there are inequalities, unemployment, poverty, and, uh, and, the, and the coronavirus, you know, affect and affected women more. And, and, and we kind of had a conversation with, 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 with women that are senior managers that I just, you know, engaged was even at the university, you find out that your senior directors, maybe you are three or four women. So you've got to come together and have conversations to, to affirm one another, to strengthen one another. And you find out that women are working from home, the, the issues of patriarchy, you know, have hit them you know, on the face like that, you know, because uh, they are there, the helper maybe is gone, which is the support a structure, and then you've got to carry everything, you know, as, as a woman. So my, my, my purpose um, uh, is to support, uh, encourage, um, pass knowledge that I have, little knowledge I have, uh, create spaces for exposure for young people, both when uh, girls and boys, and and that's my passion. That's my purpose. That's what I do. I may not be in papers. I may not be in big magazines, but that that's my purpose. That's what I've been doing since I was young. That's what I'm still doing. Yeah, you know, um, uh, um, uh, the person who's in my office, uh, Boy P, uh, 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 Andrew, raising his hand. You know, I I had a program for. I've got a program for a candidate program for young HR professionals, and I'm supervising two industrial psychologist interns. I started that program at the university when I came there in 2018. That's my passion. That's my purpose. You know, to 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 impart, to 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 raise, to uplift. You know, young people. You know, to to be to be better citizens. And uh, what was the last one? Don't ask me these things, man, because I become what scared keeps away. You going? <laughs> what keeps <laughs> going? That's the, what keeps me going is the passion. Because if you don't have, remember that if you don't have passion for something, you can be thrown from here to there to there to there. But if you've got passion, it gives you energy. Even if you sleep, you know, with all these stones that have been thrown, then when you realize, but I am here for this purpose, this is my passion, then you, you wake up and you, you don't put in that resignation letter that you thought you were going to put and, and, and continue and, show, and soldier on. 